final story. Yes. Interesting um, times we have here. Police submit report on DSS probe to Oshibajo makes shocking revelation. Interesting. Now, the report was obtained on Thursday night, and the IGP indicted the sacked Director General of the Department of State Services, Lawal Daura. The presidency has since replaced him with Matthew Seifa, the most senior director in the agency. According to the IGP, Dara acted alone and never consulted other security agencies. Meanwhile, the EFCC on Thursday arrested a former DSS DG, Ita Ekbayong, and was reportedly arrested in connection with alleged 17 billion fraud in the agency. The arrest was said to be part of the ongoing probe of the sacked DG, Dara. Now, I have a problem with, you know, because, I mean, you know, as an ex-governor, you must know a lot of people. True. So I know a lot of people, so I'm private to certain information. But as somebody that was raised where and has good home training, I always see all I hear. I've seen different, you know, pictures. Oh, this was the, the, let, the uh, report that the IGP submitted. I cannot verify. Mm. But the truth is, it's commonsensical. You piece two and two together, you would know that the fact that somebody ordered that personnel of the DSS should obstruct lawmakers and members of staff of the National Assembly from getting access into uh, the assembly complex, it means that, I mean, it must have come from high up there. You do not expect personnel of the DSS to just, to just go. Somebody down. must have given an order, but we do not know the person. And that is what we hope that this report will help us unveil. Because, see, if we allow certain things, eh, they become more brazen in their attempt. Some, some, some group of persons went into the National Assembly the Red Chamber, and stole the mace. Dropped it under a flyover in Abuja. This would give certain unscrupulous elements an audacity to even do more. So when your child spills water, and you don't act appropriately for the sake of spilling, you know some children, uh, they just want to spill. If you do not act appropriately, that child tomorrow might spill milk. The next day might spill fuel. And the other day, might spill you from the balcony. <laughs> so we must begin to act accordingly so that people will not become confident and brazen in their disregard and the flagrant abuse of the law. And the only way we can do this and restore public confidence is if you don't set up a committee to look into the work of this report. And that will now refer you to another committee. Before another committee, another committee. It just reminds me of the conversation we had last week with John Aldrich when he says we need to be a people that are aware of consequences. Every action should have you know, consequences. And the consequences, he stated, were either positive or negative. So you do something positive, you should be commended, you should be appreciated, you should get a reward. Yes. And when you do you something... set an example. Exactly. exactly. You do something negative. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, yes, every action should get a reaction. Mm -hmm. So we should be a people that, you know, hold our leaders accountable and understand Especially that... Especially ex-governors. Especially ex-governors, mm -hmm. whom you have tried to so properly portrayed this afternoon. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank well, you so I, I, much. I did I do a good job? You did a great you did. job. There's a very important message you also you always pass across, and that is that of asking questions. Thank you so, so thank much, honestly. So much. Mm -hmm. I must remind you. Well, let me, before you, let me just quickly say this. You know, it, to really show that the, gov the ex governor did a good job as he is leaving, you understand? Or she is leaving, so that we can balance it. It's not only men that are with The Nigerians? The, the, no, the people that he did a good job to. Uh, a good job. We get. <laughs> you want a brown envelope? Mm, yeah, but, but you want the kind of remuneration? Um, no, no, no. What I'm saying is to really show that uh, the ex governor did a good job. You people who. Okay, uh, our producer, dear producer, <laughs> please take note. Um, Chukudi has indicated that he wants lunch after the show as he has properly placed. No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Actually, our producer before is you, actually taking Before us you for say lunch the ex governor uh, did a good job uh. or has done a good job. You people must be happy. My brother, let us first be We're happy. Trying. You know, there's a Latin maxim that says, Nemo dat quod non habe. Nemo, nemo. You cannot give what you do not have. So we have to have. So you already know that. You cannot, uh, we are in the same boat. <laughs> we are together, my brother. It's just Martin oh, that we are in. Exactly, we are in the same boat. Yeah. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.